Officers in the fire and rescue services are sometimes required to use forcible entry to gain access to a building or property to fight a fire or to rescue someone. That's according to fire substation officers Timothy Martin and Romel Williams during their appearance on ZIZ's radio program Fire Talk on Tuesday. Martin spoke of some of the instances where forcible entry would be used. Forcible entries would be, of course, fires. Um, let's say we, there is some suspicious order that is taking place um, inside of a property. Uh, chances are we might be one of the persons called to gain access. It, it could be um, the, the, the smell of gas as well. Mm. All right. So, so not just you know uh, a, a stench of uh, someone mm -hmm. who has passed, but as I said, you know, it could be a stench of gaso gas, gasoline, um, anything uh, unusual, abnormal. Mm -hmm. You know, we could be called in to, to gain access to that building. Um, also to perform some sort of rescuing. Uh, some, sometimes we, we have to engage in rescuing someone who could be out of a vehicle. Williams said some of the forcible entry techniques include taking off doors and cutting locks to gain entry. Now some of the components that you find that we have to be forcing ourselves into are things like doors, uh, windows, we have to cut through walls, which is, might be extreme mm. to go after, have to go to the wall. Um, but not mm -hmm. forgetting that there are joy walls as well. Yeah, I, I so, know. I'm thinking yeah. about the concrete, concrete wall. wall. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so. But as you mentioned, the joy, joy wall, sheet you are cutting that and stuff. Mm -hmm. um, sometimes they have to cut through locks, they have to cut off locks and uh, you know, fencing and roofs and so forth. So we have to come to the roof sometimes. Can't forget the roof. Depending on where the fire is again. He added that using this technique is a risk that would sometimes end up damaging someone's property more than the fire itself and as such fire officers would need to proceed with an abundance of caution. In the case of, you know, um, forcible entry in a house that is on, on fire, mm -hmm. um, there are certain things you need to know that you, you can't do. Um, while you're doing forcible entry, for instance, which side of the house do you force yourself into? Uh, whether it's the front door or the side door, because if you go to the wrong, if you, if you make that wrong entry, then you could actually have an, an explosion. So it's like a huge fireball develops and it comes straight at you. Mm -hmm. Takes the door off, you could actually take the side of a building off and take uh, you with it. So it's, it's that's really... That's dangerous. Yeah. So mm -hmm. it's... Like I said, it's, as he said, it's a technique that you have to learn and you have to learn it properly. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, you could cause more harm um, than was there originally. Fire Talk airs every Tuesday on ZRZ Radio at 9.30 a.m. during the morning show with GQ.